we would also welcome to tell us more about the Africa 39 and to present them to us, even though the book will be presented in July, let us welcome our very own Captain Elechi Amadi. Your Excellency, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, President of Nigeria and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Your Excellency, General Abdul Salam, former Head of State, Your Excellency, Able Governor of River State and his dear wife. The Chairman of this occasion, Your Excellency, the Chairman of the um, what's that called Warbo Capital, Able Chairman, uh, Dr. Uh, Engineer Tele Kuru, uh, who is part of uh, ALT, limped down here to give a very brilliant uh, speech. Um, uh, Nobel laureate, Wale Shoyinka, and uh, my other fellow writers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my task is very brief. We have a whole year over which we are going to celebrate uh, set us as World Book Capital. And um, we, of course, want to make the very most out of, squeeze out everything out of the uh, 12 months that make up the year. Already, as you know, we've uh, earmarked one book a month for the 12 months. Now, there is this brainwave. Uh, I didn't ask Coco who uh, suggested it, but the idea is to focus on younger writers. Um, and for a while, um, forget, or at least um, think of writers who are coming to replace we older ones. And so the idea came, was brought that we should have Right, focus on writers below the age of 40. In other words, from 39 downwards. And uh, not surprisingly, it's named Africa 39. Or is it 39 Africa? Africa 39. And uh, I thought uh, this was a very good idea, but I didn't know what was coming. Mrs. Kalango said, well, uh, could you be chairman of the panel that will uh, get us a short list of these 39 writers? I said, OK, um, I don't know. Uh, do you think I can cook, given my uh, octogenarian uh, status right now? She said, no, that uh, she was sure I would cook. I didn't know what I was going in for. So it was a strange chairmanship because my members, my other two members, were all outside the country. One in the US, one in the UK. So we had to um, communicate by email, um, text messages, and sometimes by telepathy, believe it or not. So, um, they got a literary expert from South Africa to compile a list of over a hundred young authors. And their short stories, bio data, um, extra, uh, extracts from books 
would be downloaded by the judges. So I found myself having to download the works of 100 authors with their biodata and everything. I said, well, I, I, I told Coco, Mrs. Kalang, I said, this, this could shorten one's life, you know. So by the time I, in fact, I had to employ um, a computer expert to now download this heavy pile of 100 authors, short stories, uh, extracts from books, and their biodata. Well, we had to, we had a time schedule, time frame. You know, Coco is a, a slave driver. She seated on a time frame to which we just had that there. In the end, we, we had to shortlist 50, among the, from the 100, we had to shortlist the best 50 we could and then submit to the judges to look at. This we did. And then from our three lists of 50 young writers, the committee now selected 50 writers out of the list, the three lists, and sent this list again back to us. And we had to shortlist 39 writers from the list of 50. It was quite a chore. But um, I'm glad to say in the end we made it. And uh, I breathed a sigh of relief when I submitted my own list, finally. But um, I thought I had done three days or so later, I had another email saying, oh, uh, someone um, is unable, uh, has withdrawn from the race because uh, she's unable to participate. Could we now go through the list and get somebody to replace her? This took quite some time. In the end, we did that, and uh, that was the end of it. So the idea is to get the works of these 39 young writers published in a book. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It must be a very interesting book. Because having read through the works of these 100 authors, I'm sure that the, 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 the short list will be very, very exciting. So this we've done, and uh, I'm told it will be launched when? October or something? Yes. And I hope everybody will endeavor to buy the book. We in Port Harcourt, we writers in Port Harcourt are very proud of this um, honor done to Port Harcourt. Um, anywhere writers in Nigeria gather, we can always lift our head and say, we are from Port Harcourt. But, um, well, already His Excellency, the Governor of the State, has been um, thanked for his wonderful devotion to literature and all he's done to bring this to fruition. His Excellency, let me thank you again. And uh, Mrs. Kalango, I don't know, she's a bulldozer. I've never seen such a workaholic. She's full of energy, she's full of ideas, and she never gets tired. I don't know where she finds the energy. So I thank you, Mrs. Kalango, for, in fact, um, regenerating the literary atmosphere in Port Harcourt, in the, and in the state, too. We are grateful to you. And grateful also to all those who have contributed to the success of this. And of course, I must mention my friend Wole. He's always been here on every literary festival. And um, well, we didn't expect any less. Uh, being a Nobel laureate, you have a heavy load on your shoulders. So, uh, and he's discharging that 
responsibility admirably. Uh, thank you, Wale. So, um, once again, I enjoin all of you to look out for this publication of 39 authors. Read the book and mime whatever knowledge, information you can get from it. I thank you very much. Captain Elechi Amadi. One more time, please. A round of applause for him. Your Excellency, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my greatest pleasure. I know Coco, my namesake, surname, is allergic to me speaking the Nigerian Pidgin English. It's an international event, therefore, I should maintain the English language. I have tried. But please do permit me. Hey, thank you, Chama. You know, go sweet for me and for the people, our friends from other countries. I believe that the United Nations will have some things you put in your ear right now to get the translation to come to you. Thank you. Our keynote speaker. My first experience in the university was when we had the play, The Road, as directed by the late Peter Foyza. And I don't understand the book. It was more like I was a kindergarten for me to be a part of 